Hello, people of YouTube! Okay, so... <laughs> it's been about a week and a half, I think? Two weeks? Something like that? Since I uh, last did a video on the progress for this. This is uh, my SB61G2 shuttle. Uh, it's the Socket 478 one that I made a recent video about. Actually, I think it was the last video I made before this one. And the last time that I showed a video of this, I had... This same graphics card, which is the HD 3650, 512 meg, with a lower profile uh, heatsink. And that was pretty good, but when I had the cover on, it would get really, really hot. So what I decided to do was, I took a Dremel, or at least a knockoff cheapo Chinese Dremel, and I pretty much uh, cut the side cover off here, as you can see. And I put some U-Channel from Walmart. It was like 8 bucks for 18 feet, I couldn't say no, and yeah, now that's there. It, it looks okay, I guess. I had a little bit of a problem where it wouldn't stay put, so I have scotch tape right here, right here, and right over here, just to keep it in place for a couple weeks before, and that, that way uh, at least the uh, climbing temperature in this living room area Ugh. well hopefully there's some adhesive on them on the inside so hopefully the climbing temperature of the box and of the room itself will help to melt that a little bit into place and just hold it in then I can remove the scotch tape and uh, be completely rid of it over the past couple weeks I've also developed what seems to be a second case of bronchitis uh, I'm Doing a lot better than I was two days ago, I'll tell you that much. Two days ago I was coughing up and hacking, and I couldn't finish like three sentences without coughing. Now, my lungs are pretty much cleaned out, but I still have a bit of a sore throat happening. And, yeah, it, it's pretty sore still, just a little bit. And my nose is all stuffed up, and actually my, uh, my uh, ears can still pop, so that's a pretty good sign. I've been drinking uh, that pure rubos... Uh, Twinnings tea crap that, uh, I guess they changed the branding on it or the, just, just what it says on the package because it, you, it didn't really say that before. It was just like red rubos or something. I don't know. You can tell my uh, nose is pretty stuffed up though. My voice might sound a little different too. It really depends on, uh, how you look at it. Probably sound like a, like, uh, like, 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 uh, some, some, some sort of, uh, a comic or something with your nose closed up. Make it sound comical. <laughs> no. Alright, so, uh, let's get on with this. Uh, within the past two weeks, I've had a little bit of a trouble with this uh, particular box. Uh, something went a little awry before I got the Pentium 4 Extreme. And what ended up happening was uh, the board died uh, at my own hands. It was a complete and total freak accident, I assure you, and I really didn't even think. I, I wasn't thinking. And I was trying to uh, insert something into the machine itself uh, while it was on. I was just uh, trying to do a, a quick measurement of a component just to see how it would fit. And what ended up happening was a part of it drooped down, touched the resistor or something in front of one of the RAM slots in front. That shorted out, I guess, the, the north bridge. And then I was having problems with the coil next to the north bridge getting hot and the north bridge itself getting hot when I plugged the power in. So something happened and something shorted out and I'm not getting into it. So I purchased a replacement board for very very cheap on eBay and what's going on here? Okay that, that is there. It's one revision older but I think it's still uh, okay. As of yesterday this particular uh, machine as of, let's see, today is Friday the 18th, I think? The 17th? Friday the 17th. Friday, May 17th, 2013, right? Yeah, 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 that's what my phone says. Okay, so, today's Friday. Yesterday, 5-16-2013, uh, marks 10 years that this particular computer has been active, or I guess, uh, in use, in... I would guess moderate use. Uh, the board is probably a bit older because it's a revision older, so I would guess it to be 
uh, 10 years in a, in a couple months because they did have some problems with this particular revision of the board. There were some problems with the uh, onboard audio and stuff, which I can safely say mine does not have that problem, but it was iffy between chipsets. But I do not currently have that problem with this particular one. But just to be on the safe side, I have disabled onboard audio. If you can sort of see back there, right in here, right here, there's no real good light, but you can see that little sort of white connector there in the middle. That is my Audigy 2ZS, which I have also transplanted over to that particular board. And it sits behind there. And it was a very tight fit to get that in there with that fan right there. That is a 92mm uh, uh, Nidic Beta 5, Beta V, whatever the crap you want to call it. It's a 3-pin. It's their Mr. Uh, RPM controlled. And it does a pretty good job. Uh, what I have that there for is that, that blows uh, cold air or I would guess semi-cold air over the RAM and the north, uh, towards the north bridge and towards the CPU sorta and that also gives airflow towards the power supply because the power supply fans are struggling to just get airflow through there so what I did was I put that in and now there's just a, t a heap a heap of air coming through the power supply now so it's not as hot as it was before but it's still hot uh oh I think I have company okay so I'm going to really quick turn this off and I'll uh, continue this later on Okay, that turned out to be a false alarm. I guess uh, whoever it was pulled into the driveway and then pulled out and went the other way. That happens. Uh, it's a common thing that happens with my driveway because it's pretty long. So they just come up to it and it just like sort of goes out in two angles. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, while I was up to go and check, I guess... Uh, oh. I went and I turned on the fan upstairs, so uh, now I've got some air circulating through. I've got a got an attic fan here, so uh, you, you crack open the sliding glass door and uh, the uh, air comes rushing through when I open and turn on a fan. So hopefully it's going to get a lot cooler in here because it's like 73, 72 out, but there's like really, really low humidity. So it's, it's less muggy than you'd think outside, even though it sort of feels muggy if you're out there for a long period of time. And it's like 78 in here, 78 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's about 24 to 25 degrees Celsius, if I'm correct. I could be wrong. It could be like 26. It's someplace in the in the upper 20s for degrees Celsius for anybody uh, not in the United States or uh, that does room temperature by that for shit. I don't know. Anyway, while I was also uh, while I was up, I picked up a uh, LED flashlight from the uh, shelf, and although it's not the best, there you go. You can now see in here. Oh, make it non blinding so you can see that model SP0350. So it is an Audigy 2ZS Gold. You can sort of see the fan in there, right there in the back. You can see, I've got nothing plugged into any of those headers there because I don't have any more room in here. You can see the Nidex fan here. If I go through here, yeah, you can't really see. But, yeah, there you go. There's the hard drive. There's the DVD drive. Both of them have the same color cable. Hard drive cable goes underneath the thing above the north bridge. And that goes up and around. So that's pretty neato. Uh, I had some trouble with the graphics card when I uh, originally did the Windows 7 reinstall back about a week ago. Uh, it would not, it would not be seen by uh, AMD 12.6 or 13.1 for the AGB hotfix uh, cards. So I had to go back to 11. Point, I think it was 11.12 for it to actually be seen. So I have to go up from there and see which one is the last one that it actually shows and identifies. I think it was like something around like 12.2 or 12.3 if I remember correctly. So I have to go back through because I need. Uh, drivers from 2012 or else I can't play uh, Need for Speed uh, Most Wanted uh, 2012 on this machine which I'm trying to do to see how crappy it plays. Now going through I was able to get the game to start and actually I'm going to do a sh I'm going to show that to show that it does start but it doesn't let me get past a certain point. Alright I'm turning the machine on you can see what also, what I got was a 
Pentium 4 Extreme Edition uh, sticker there. Just for the record, this is probably the only Pentium 4 Extreme Edition powered shuttle that is ever going to be on YouTube right now. Unless someone else decides to post one up after seeing this. This is currently the only shuttle on YouTube with the Pentium 4 Extreme Edition in it. I also cleaned up this monitor. It cleaned up very nice. Finally, after like two months of owning it, being covered in crud from being outside. So, I took some Windex to it. It looks pretty nice. You can sort of see a gleam in it. Right up here, right there, you can sort of see the surface scratch there. That's not noticeable if you look at it dead on, so... Uh, I'm not complaining because I got the monitor for free. And once you clean up the, the gunk and the grind that was on the front of it, it actually is pretty bright and pretty sharp for a piece of uh, trash monitor. Or a monitor that was going to be out in the trash and was going to continue being out in the trash. So, you go ahead and uh, log in, and for those that are not familiar with it, I have, ooh, got some sunlight coming up behind me. This is a Tandy Enhanced Keyboard. Uh, this is AT slash XT, it's auto-sensing. And I actually had to plug this into uh, the actual PS2 port on the computer itself. I couldn't use my USB to PS2 adapter which bothered me because I usually use that for like everything plug it in, unplug it, that sort of stuff so this is not, I don't know if it doesn't work with that particular one or if it's uh, just the USB ports being underpowered because they are a little underpowered like I have my laptop, my E265M and it's able to power a couple of these uh, two and a half inch hard drives that I have just fine off of the one cable but this Pentium 4 here needs a little bit of help with uh, some power it's having a little bit of an issue with uh, <coughs> Excuse me. I have a little bit of a problem with uh, powering up a couple of the hard drives. I've got a Toshiba that really needs some uh, starting amps to get it going, and then once it starts going, it just clicks back in the park because it just can't, it just doesn't have the amps to start up. So I'm going to head, head and start log in here. And if it decides to focus, there we go. Okay. Now here in the here in the tray we've got security essentials, we've got the network icon, sound, mini bin, XPC tools, and what should be starting up, uh, Codex 4, which I use on pretty much everything. Let's go ahead and go into Codex 4 real quick. You see how uh, hot this, everything is running about 48, 40, 42 for the CPU. You see the CPU is running at 1.344. I've got it under volted a little bit. The fan is running at speed setting 12 because I need it to or else it's going to just freaking overheat in here. It gets up to like 48 real quick on anything lower. I used to, when this room was a lot colder, uh, this Pentium 4 would run, the, the Extreme Edition would run about uh, 33, 34. Now it's just insanely hot in here. Ooh. Okay, so now let's uh I can't see myself here. Here we go. I'm trying to look through the viewfinder here. There we go. My CPU's going up. And as you can see, Intel Pentium 4 Extreme Edition, plot and chip core. Core voltage is again 1.344 volts, which is correct. Uh, the actual original, I think, was 1.5. I think the lower limit is 1.425. So for it to be running at this is pretty nice, and it is stable at this. So you can just see here how much of L3 cache I've got two megs. That really does help with a lot of stuff, let me tell you. All right, so again, caches, two megs, eight-way set associative, 64-bit line size, main board. Shuttle FB61 version 1.0, it's actually a 1.2. And you see here it's got the 865 with uh, 800 megahertz front side bus support, hyper threaded support, all that crap. Uh, I just dropped the old BIOS chip from the old board into here, it works fine. AGP version 38X. Sideband enabled, okay. We got RAM here, 3338. I'm probably gonna mess with that a little bit, maybe not a whole lot. Really depends on what kind of RAM I can find for this. And I can probably find some decent old DDR RAM, that's about a uh, two gigs for decent. 
I've been looking online to see if I can find anything that's overclock friendly, like has heat spreaders and stuff, but I can't really find any anymore. You can see here they're, King, they're uh, Kingston's, they're both KVR's, uh, and they were both made in week 19 of 2009. Pretty nice. And then HG 2600 XT. This I've actually got to fix. It's still showing up as 2600 XT with 11.12. I've just got to move it over to 3650 because that's what it is. Although I don't know if it runs any slower or not with this. So now go over into GPU Z. Come on, I clicked you. By the way, I'm using my MX310, one of the three that I now have. It runs pretty nice. Uh oh. An update warning. Yes. Why did it open up twice? I only need this one. Here we go. See, it's running at about 27, 30 degrees Celsius. Decent. Uh, and, of course, I'll uh, give you a specy here. You notice that the hard drive is a little more noisier than in the last video. It's because I switched the hard drive out for a... 500 gig that used to be in my older shuttle, which is actually the newer shuttle, um, when I, uh, my uh, SG33 G5 Pro. Nice machine, but uh, that needs a little bit more work. You see here, the CPU is running at 40 degrees. That's not the motherboard sensor, that is actually the CPU sensor. And I'm going to show that. I'm going to cross check here with uh, uh, XPC tools, 39 degrees Celsius. 38, 38, okay. Hard drive is running at 38 as well. Uh, once the room cools down a bit, like once we get the air conditioning going and uh, later on, probably gonna be at the end of the month, it's gonna be good. Again, you see here I've got that. Uh, I've got uh, stop grant running, so that'll clock down when needed, I guess. Uh, player 16, whatever, whatever the crap. Air control again at 12, system. CPU info. Ha 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 ha. That's pretty nice. We'll close that. You see. Let's go into here. And need for speed most one to 2012 running. I don't have speakers, but hooked up to it right now, but you can sort of make out. It runs pretty decent for its age. It decides to load, that is. Come on, you can do it. There it goes. It's gonna tell me to press enter or something. Yeah, press any key. And it's gonna tell me that I need to be logged in for that. I don't want to log in to Origin right now because Origin sucks. Fuck you, EA. That's right, fuck you. I am not going for your Origin crap. You see it's lagging just the slightest bit here. Yeah, also while I had it going, I moved that around. You can sort of see where it's uh, getting a little uh, choppy with the screen there. Excuse me. It's becoming a little hard to breathe on my nose now. I gotta blow my nose later on. And everything with the video seems to be running full speed, and I uh, like to thank the HD3650 for that. But the problem is, once you get past that, you have to worry about. Yeah, see, right there it uh, lags a little bit. can see where it's lagging. Ugh. I'm gonna pop my ears again. 
there we go. You, you can just see we're in the in the high velocity uh, areas. It just sort of lags just the slightest. Now I'm going to see if uh, overclocking the GPU just a little bit because I do have a little bit of headroom with this uh, heatsink on it. See if I can get it to perform any better and see if it'll actually start the game up. Because at this point it's just a little bit too uh, choppy for my liking. So we're going to go to this. Then right after this fades out, mouse. And then it just it just sticks there. That's it. Doesn't do anything after that. If I click, it crashes. Without anything, it just crashes. So I have to look into that. It's probably a driver issue. I don't think so, but you can't be too sure. So I'm going to try some newer drivers ones that actually work, and we'll see what the deal is. For now though, I'm happy playing other games on it, like uh, Unreal Tournament 2004. Uh, I think I've got UT99 on here too, Game of the Year Edition. Uh, and I've got Steam installed, but I haven't set it up yet. I'm gonna try uh, Team Fortress 2 and uh, a couple of the other source games, like uh, Half-Life, Half-Life Episode 2 and 3. I have the hard drive space for it, I can always uninstall it later. I'm going to try Metro 2033, uh, Saints Row 3, I can't wait for Saints Row 4, there's a freaking dubstep gun, oh my god. And I'm also going to see what the deal is with, well, what's another game? I'm going to try Dota 2 on here too, even though I don't really like Dota, it's not my thing. I'm going to try Dota 2 on, out on here, see if it lags or whatever. I mean, this, this is an older machine, but for the performance that it's giving out right now, I just want to see, just, just to see if I can get it to work on here proof of concept wise. Not even proof of concept, if, if it's just going to even work. That's that's enough for me. <laughs> so I'll uh, try overclocking the chip a little bit, I'll update the driver, see what the deal is. For now though, this is pretty nice. I've been remote desktoping into it, I'm going to move it over to uh, where I'm sitting though, on top of a little table and uh, I'm going to use it there and I'm going to see what the deal is. Uh, play some games with it, mess around with it. Uh, other thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, doing some uh, Star Trek uh, videos there on the upright VCR there to get that going a little bit more. That's my uh, late 80s Zenith upright VCR that I got thrift shop for, I think it was five bucks. Not bad. Just a little bit of head cleaning and that's fine. Uh, I've got also the Star Wars Definitive Collection over there on VHS I'm going to watch. You know, the one where Han shoots first, because Han always shoots first. Oh, yeah. So, we'll see what the deal is with that. Until then, though, I'm going to play around with that. Hello, Ash. What you doing over there? The cat's being silly. I'm sneezing a little bit. So I think there might be a little bit of a uh, sort of allergen in, the, in there. Some, uh, you can just hear it. Just hear it off the PSU there. Sorry, I can hear the wind a little bit. The, the air coming through. I'm going to replace, actually get rid of this honeycomb grill in the back so there's more airflow at the back. It's going to help a great deal. I'm also thinking about getting a 80mm to 92 or 120mm adapter and placing that there and putting a decent like, uh, see if I can get a, a, a decent like uh, uh, Scythe Gentle Typhoon and use that for uh, out um, as uh, the pull. That'll definitely help. In fact, uh, I may not even need the. In, in, I may. I am going to need the inner shroud, but I'm probably not even going to need the inside fan if I do that. Route the cable through the hole and be good. That's what I'm thinking about, at least. Anyway, I'm running a little low on looks like memory. What it's saying here, so I'm going to wrap this up. Uh oh, what's going on here? Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, that's right. That's right, bitch. Go back down to zero. I know. I know what you're thinking. It probably has something to do with the undervolt. I'm gonna go over here and no, I want to go. Let's go over here and bring it up to 1.4 and confirm. So now if it decides to, yeah, it's it's 
messing up a little bit, so now CPUZ should say 1.35 or something like that, or 1.37. Yeah, 1.375, 1.376. We'll see where it goes from there. I've got to, I got to keep this thing uh, nice and stable, or else I can't really uh, use it for much. All right, so that's that. I'm going to kill this off because I am, I am running out of memory storage now here, which is pretty interesting because I do have a 16 gig card and also the camera is starting to get a little warm so I'm guessing the battery doesn't like it that much I do want to have battery power later on and I think it's just putting a little bit of strain on here because oh those are the birds this is not those uh, crappy birds I'm hearing in the background of a uh, few people's uh, videos they go ah, 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 and it's just like they're laughing at them it, it sounds so funny all right, I'm gonna uh, cut it off here. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, I guess. Leave a comment. Leave any sort of comment except those that would be frowned upon to comment about. You know. All right. Have fun. Goodbye.